exactly is untouchable in trade talks on the Washington Wizards roster? Come on, let's talk about it next on Locked On Wizards. You are Locked On Wizards, your daily Washington Wizards podcast, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Brandon Scott, and I appreciate you guys making Locked On Wizards your first listen every single day. We are free and available wherever you get your podcasts and on YouTube, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every single day. And tonight's episode is brought to you by Brandon, right? Because we ain't got no ad tonight. So um, tonight, guys, we are going to talk about who are the three untouchable players on the Washington Wizards roster. And the Washington Wizards did make some signings before training camp, so we're going to talk about that. We're going to keep it short and simple tonight, y'all. So let's get into it. And this article is through Wiz of Oz. Um, so again, shout out to Wiz of Oz and Bullets Forever. Both of them are really, really good um, places to get your Wizards news. So again, shout out to Wiz of Oz and Bullets Forever. Both of them uh, have really good content as far as any news about the Washington Wizards. So uh, this article through the Wiz of Oz says, three untouchable Washington Wizards players in trade talk so let's go through each one of them and kind of dissect each one of them right um so let's get into the first one number one on the list is bub carrington all right so it says the washington wizards selected bub carrington 14th overall in this year's draft uh he was obviously acquired in a denny avia trade that brought not only bub carrington but also malcolm brogdon over from the portland portland trailblazers so am i surprised about bub carrington no i mean he has shown enough uh, in what well, I say shown enough, but then people get on Alex R and, and, and the sample size is still too small. So, um, yeah, he showed a lot in summer league. But, you know, obviously I think this year is going to be an up and down year, not only for him, but most of the young guys on the roster, including Bilal, Tristan Vucevic, this goes on, Keyshawn George, Alex R. You know, these are guys who are very raw, very young. But Bob Kent is not very raw compared to Alex R and Bilal Kulabali. He showed how much of – of a scoring scores touch he had in summer league so i mean bub carrington this guy is definitely untouchable he is now you know could he be the point guard of the future yes could he be the two guard of the future yes you know a lot of questions surrounding the backcourt of him and jordan Poole. you know jordan Poole right now is slated to be the starting point guard for at least the next three years um could he be a trophy yes could he be a guy to stick around for a while yes right now we don't know for sure what the vision is going for we do know that the organization is front office will dawkins michael winger and travis link all of them do like Jordan Poole and Buff Carrington. So getting back to Buff Carrington, you know, he's a guy who's definitely untouchable. You don't move Buff Carrington. This kid is, is part of the future. I mean, be more product. He's from the DMV. He is a straight up dog. He's, you know, he's a guy who I think is going to be developing to a really good defender, in my opinion. Um, from an offensive standpoint, three point shooting, mid range. You know, he's got a fast first step. Now, does he, can he get a little faster, especially attacking around? Absolutely. But I got a heck of a fast first step man so offensively man he is definitely definitely a really intriguing player and then defensively i think he's definitely gonna be a really good defender now he's gonna be a lockdown guy we'll see i mean he is six four guard so he's, he's got a little bit of size to him at uh, the one or the two but i'm trying to tell you he is definitely a guy that you make untouchable he is part of the future bob carrington yes the sample size is small you know summer league and yes he's gonna have an up and down year he's gonna have a roller coaster of a season a lot of growing pains because he is very young very very young but he has shown enough in my opinion just that he is definitely part of the future so buck Carrington is the first guy who is untouchable in dc number two i think we already know who it is Bilal Koulibaly, aka be cool my guy be cool he is obviously untouchable i mean he's going to his second season seventh overall pick in the 2023 nba draft six six guy versatile played the two the three maybe the four i mean his, his defense is already fluent man He's already a really good defender, you know, especially uh, chase down blocks, you know, steals, you know, getting in the passing lanes, you know, being very active in defense, uh, being a pest in defense. He's already there defensively. Now, can he get better? Absolutely. You know, but I think he's definitely a an NBA all defensive team guy in the future. I think he's definitely a he has star potential. Now, again, he's very raw, very, very raw. But his and his offense is going to take some time to come together, kind of like Alex R. We're going to talk about him in a minute. But, you know, his, his offense is in in pro you know in the, in the progress right now um but Bilal is untouchable you do not move Bilal you know he's definitely part of this young core going forward and um you know 
Friday, we're going to talk about the 2025 and the 2026 NBA drafts and how you kind of build upon this young core. But Bilal, in, in accordance with Bob Carrington, both of them are part of this young core that you build upon for the future. You know, once we start moving a lot of these vets off the roster and make it a youth movement, Bob Carrington and Bilal Kulabali are definitely going to be in the same lineup, man, and definitely going to be in the same lineup going forward into the future. So, I mean, you know, Bilal, you're too – obviously you want to see some progress, especially offensively. I mean, his previous season he averaged 8.4 points a game, 4.1 rebounds, 1.7 assists, slightly under one steal a game, and 0.8 blocks in 27.2 minutes as a rookie. Now, he did shoot 34.6% for three-point range. Um but I don't think the statistics really tell you where his progress is as far as a shooter. You know, not a bad shot, just a shot that needs to be quicker. His release definitely needs to be quicker. And so from a three-point standpoint, definitely want to see him get the ball off quicker and become more of a threat for the perimeter. You know, you definitely want to see him add a mid-range jumper. You know, definitely fine-tune his, his uh, attack in the basket. He's shown that he can posterize somebody. He's shown he can put somebody on the post, man. I'm trying to tell y'all. But, you know, you definitely want to see him, especially ball handling. You know, look to be more of a playmaker to a certain degree. So, you know, you do want to see some progress from Bilal Kulabali in year two, um, but still very raw and still a year or two away from truly breaking out. All right, number one, as far as the three untouchable players on the Washington Wizards roster in trade talks is Alex Sar. Now, I get it. I get it. A lot of people are down on Alex Sar. Number two overall pick of this year's draft, but he is a building block. And I, I still truly believe that he has star potential. I truly believe, y'all, that Bilal Kulabali, a.k.a. B. Cool, and Alex Sar have star potential. Both of them, obviously, look, not so much with Bilal, but with Alex Sar, aggression has been a question mark. But both of them have high motors. But they're very raw. They're very young. And if you look at the three players, man, we, we often, you know, talk about timeline. That's been something that's kind of been this. <laughs> You know, just on and on again, hearing about timeline, right? Um, you know, we we looked at the timeline when Denny was on, on the roster with Kisper, Jordan Poole, and we thought that we knew the timeline. Now, you know, with Denny being moved, you know, with, with Jordan Poole's status, you know, is, is he a building block or is he a guy that you boost his value and you look to move? You know, it's very unclear what truly is the vision for him going forward. But if you look at the fact that these three guys are untouchable and look at their ages, it gives you a glimpse of what the timeline is, especially when you look at the 2025 and the 2026 drafts, is that they're building this team from the ground up and they're very young. A lot of these vets who's you on the roster this year are not going to be on the team in the next couple of years. You know, Kyle Kuzma is going to be moved at some point. Obviously, um, Jonas Valanciunas, Michael Brock is going to be gone. Uh, Sadiq Bey, we, we'll see, but still very young, really an upside player. I got him on the cheap because I'm um, coming off an ACL injury, but we'll see. But all three of these guys are to me would be the three guys you don't move now could you add Keyshawn george yeah but you know Keyshawn george he's a guy that i definitely think could be a wizard for the long run you know i love his scoring capability i love his motor i love his drive um but you know he's a guy that you know later first round we'll see what we have in him in the first uh, in the next couple of years but i agree with this list guys um if i'm gonna pick anybody on the roster who's who is untouchable it's definitely gonna be alex r Bilal Kulabali, and bub carrington this uh, trinity of Bob Carrington, Bilal, and Alex R is the young foundation you build upon, in my opinion. These are the guys you build upon. So when you go into the 2025 NBA draft, you're looking to build upon this core. This is your core going forward. So, you know, the future of me is this core. This is it. Um, so you guys definitely, in the comment section, um, definitely let me know what you guys think because this young core, these three guys are definitely untouchable. Um, they kind of reiterate, guys. Uh, the three guys, um, and again, shout out to Wiz of Oz. Great article. Uh, kind of fell in line with what I wanted to talk about anyway. So, and we already agreed on the list. So, um, again, great, um, a lot of good articles that come up off of the Wizard of Oz and Bullets Forever, man. So, definitely, definitely, if you don't not go to either one of those sites, definitely, definitely consider it. But, um, to me, I agree with it, man. Those are the three guys that I would definitely consider being untouchable on, on this roster. And it is definitely, these three players are definitely part of the young foundation that you build upon going into the future, especially heading to the 2025 NBA draft. So, you know, these three guys are going to be a lot of growing pains this year. You know, you cannot really record success this year off of wins and losses. It's off of progression of these three guys, including, you know, Keyshawn George, including Tristan Vucevic, and including Jordan Poole. Like I said, I still view him as a guy who could 
could potentially be part of the long-term vision of the Washington Wizards. You know, you can say the same thing about Sadiq Bay. Uh, right now, you know, obviously uh, we already touched base on Isaac Okoro, a guy they're looking at. You know, he's 23 years old. So right now, you know, small, you know, piece by piece, we're starting to see what the vision is for Will Dawkins. You know, obviously his, all five draft picks are part of his vision. But, you know, some intriguing players on his roster that very well could be long-term pieces. You know, Jordan Poole's that guy. You know, I, I think that, he, you know, he's definitely going to hold down the, the point guard position for the next couple of years. And we'll see if, if it goes beyond that. We'll get a clear picture of what Will Dawkins was to do with Jordan Poole, but they made it known that they wanted to invest heavily in the backcourt of Jordan Poole and Buck Carrington. And you know, like I said, Buck Carrington's a guy who could play off ball. So, like I said, there's a lot of intangibles. It's you know, so again, 2025 and 2026 are really important. We need to hit in these drafts. So, you guys get in the comment section. Let me know who's untouchable in your eyes because to me, it is Buck Carrington, Bilal Kulabali, and Alex R. So again, shout out to Wizard of Oz. Great article. I agree 100 with them. That would be that was my three guys that were untouchable. So again, get in the comment section and let me know what you guys are thinking. So the Wizards made some moves, man, assigning three players before training camp. So we're gonna break that down real quick. But before we before we do, tonight's episode is brought to you by eBay Motors. And I just had eBay Motors on here. Um, so uh, let me pull up the ad real quick, everybody. Um, so again, um, while I pull up the ad, my bad, everybody. Um, like I said, these are the three guys that I would definitely, definitely, definitely make untouchable on this roster because, you know, a lot of these, a lot of these vets, man, um, are going to be gone in a couple of years. You will see, you know, Kyle Kuzma, I'm a firm believer that he will be moved at the deadline, but he could be next off season. But Jonas Valanciunas definitely gone before the deadline, if not at the deadline. Same thing with Malcolm Brogdon. So the list goes on. So here we go, guys. Uh, tonight's episode is brought to you by ebay motors passion drive and patience the formula for winning championships is also what keeps your ride or die alive ebay motors has everything you need to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance superchargers roof racks exhaust kits led headlights and more whether you're in the speed power or style ebay motors has you covered with over 122 million parts hold on now let me repeat over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die you'll always find exactly what you're looking for and with ebay guaranteed fit your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back. Because with eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash. With all the parts you need at the prices you want, it's easy to make your car the MVP and bring home huge wins. So look, keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only, exclusions apply. eBay guaranteed fit, only available to U.S. customers. Thank you guys for making Locked On Wizards your first listener today. For your second listen, Enjoy the Locked On NBA podcast. There is no offseason in NBA, let me tell y'all. And Locked On NBA provides daily basketball analysis from national and local experts in 30 minutes or less. No one keeps you as informed and entertained as Locked On NBA. Available on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every single day. All right, everybody, let's get into it. Now, the Washington Wizards did make some minor moves, but I do like these moves. So this is through... Josh Robbins at Josh Rob Josh Joshua B Robbins on X aka Twitter. Um, Josh is uh, uh off the Athletic. If you do not subscribe to the Athletic, I definitely recommend it. Um, and I have I've had the pleasure to um talk to Josh man in a lot of uh, Wizards events, had to chop it up with him. So he's a guy who knows his basketball man. So again, shout out to Josh Robbins. So uh, he says the Washington Wizards have received Exhibit Ten contract commitments from Ford Leaky Black. <laughs> Yeah, I love that name, man. Uh, guard Kyra Lewis Jr. and wing Jalen Noel. League sources tell Sham Sharanya and Josh Robbins. Black, Lewis, and Noel will compete in the Wizards training camp for a roster spot. Now, again, guys, we are plus one. And I ain't talking about going to the club or going on a date. We are the plus one, and, and it's not good to be plus one, right? Um, and all arrows point towards Johnny Davis being that guy. Um, but we'll see, you know, um, what direction they want to go going towards training camp. Do they give him an op do they give him an opportunity in training camp to try to earn a roster spot? I mean, looking at these three guys, um, Kyra Lewis, Alabama kid, man. Um, I like him. I mean, he's a really good player. He's a guy that I would like to see him try to make a roster spot in training camp. Uh, same thing with Jalen Noel. He's a guy who's been in the league for a little bit. Great young player, man. Um, th these guys, I definitely want to see um Kyra Lewis Jr. and Jalen Noel ballot out for a roster spot now looking at leaky black i don't know too much about leaky black but i gotta be honest with you the name alone he definitely earned an invite to training camp man the name alone is funny man that is dope leaky black so 
Um, again, the Washington Wizards uh, signed Leaky Black, Kyra Lewis Jr., and Jalen Noel to Exhibit 10 contracts. So they will be invited to training camps that we will see. Uh, um, so real quick before we roll out, guys, because um, like I said, it's going to be quick and to the point tonight. It's going to be a shorter video tonight. Friday, um, you know, a couple guys, uh, a couple of listeners slash watchers wanted me to get into the 20, 2025 and 2026 drafts and what prospects I like to kind of add to this young core. Friday, we're going to go live and we're going to talk about it. So I'm going to go over the 2025 draft and the 2026 draft and look at what prospects I look you could definitely you know we should definitely look at the add to this young core going forward um so again definitely definitely look out for that so looking forward to chopping up with you guys on friday night also uh training camp is, is coming up man training camp and preseason so with media day i will be there to cover media day um players uh michael winger will dawkins will, and definitely coach our head coach that is brian key so i will be there active and get all the content for you guys at media day so definitely definitely i'm uh, looking forward to that and you know training camp trying to get very active with the team in training camp so again guys i appreciate you guys appreciate you guys rocking man first year going solo like i said definitely definitely appreciate the love man um so and like i said we're gonna keep this short tonight so you guys get in the comment section let me know what you guys think who's untouchable in your eyes who is untouchable on this roster as far as his young core and as far as this training camp signings to exhibit 10, you know, are you intrigued by Kyra Lewis Jr.? You guys definitely let me know. So we're going to go ahead and call it night. I will see you guys Friday night, 7 o'clock. We're going live, and we're going to talk about Cooper Flag and the 2025 NBA draft. Hope everybody has a blessed night. Hail to the Wizards, and peace. See you guys Friday night.